Good morning. It's a lovely Saturday. We are heading into Helsinki, which we haven't yet done on our five and a bit week trip here to Finland. I'm very excited. I do love Helsinki. We are trying to find some of the uh, rentable electric scooters. Apparently there's some here in the neighborhood. Uh, we will ride them to the metro station and go on the train to town. Hurry up! All right, to the metro. Muji. There's a whole floor of a shopping centre with Muji in it. One of our favourite shops, which we don't have in Mauritius. We spent our 10 year anniversary in Tokyo um, and just walking into a Muji shop uh, brings back all the memories. Uh, that was about five years ago this week. Yeah, good memories. Love Tokyo. Have to go back one day with the kids. in Mauritius. Book secured. Now I'm going to grab some food because I'm starving. Okay, time to go home. We've had our fun. We're back now in Espoo from our trip to Helsinki. The kids have been with Milia's mom all day and they'll be out for another hour or two. So I thought now would be a good time to sit down and talk about how I manage my side projects. Now let's get to it. Okay then. I got a lot of questions on Twitter about how I managed to have a day job um, and run five, six projects at the same time, um, as well as have a young family. I have three kids, nine and under. People just seem interested in how I managed to do that. So I thought I'd make a quick video explaining uh, like a typical work week. I'll also talk about what's important to me, like what drives me while I'm working. And also uh, like the main things that I do to make sure that I get all my projects done, get all my work done and keep pushing my projects forward. Hopefully you'll find some of this stuff useful. Um, maybe you can apply some stuff to your own week and become a bit more comfortable making side projects. Okay, so here are the things that I work on on a weekly basis. So I have a day job. I'm a head of product for a startup in London. I work remotely. Um, that takes up a lot of my time. I then have uh, three SaaS projects, so software as a service. I have Subsail, Cove, and Illo. Um, they are a magazine subscriptions platform for independent publishers, a commenting tool for ghost blogs, and a Twitter analytics product. I then have a few other projects like Gloat, which is a ghost installation service, and Ghost Host. I sell themes for Ghost under the name Super Themes Company, and I also do some freelance. The reason I have these side projects is to uh, generate new revenue income streams. So in late 2019, I think, I had my main job, I had some freelance and I had subsale running, but I really wanted to focus on kind of securing a more stable income for my family, basically. Um, so I set out kind of looking at 
different ways to earn money over a variety of different streams. It hasn't all gone to plan. I was going to make a t-shirt company. I was going to write a blog that I was hoping to monetize. But as time's gone on, um, I've thought up new ideas or come across new market opportunities. And yeah, I kind of ended up with uh, a few SaaS and a few service businesses. I'm going to quickly talk now about what is important to me while I'm working on these projects. So um, the main thing is my family. Um, I want to have time with my family. I don't want to work too much. I want to be able to play with them. I want to be able to do bedtime and dinner time. Um, and the last couple of years, I've been doing a lot of homeschool with them. Uh, which means I need flexible hours. Uh, luckily, my job is very flexible with its hours. Um, I have to do the 40 hours, but kind of choose the hours that I do that during the week. Secondly, I don't want to have burnout. So I don't want to work too hard. Um, I want to be able to work on a schedule that I kind of control um, and I know that I can handle. Thirdly, um, I want to work on multiple projects at a time. I know some people prefer to work on one thing and focus entirely on that, but that's just not how I'm wired. I like being able to switch between projects um, when I can and keep work interesting. So obviously my day job uh, is also quite varied in, within itself, but in my evenings, if I want to dabble in something else or learn a new skill in coding, then that's, that's exactly what side projects are for. And the last like important thing for me is that I don't want to do work that I don't want to do. So it, it's important when I take on a freelance project that it's a freelance project that I want to work on. I haven't built any side projects that I don't personally want to build. I managed to, through my different projects and my, my day job, work on things that I'm kind of interested in and uh, I want to kind of take forward and develop further. So let's finish off with a few things that I do, key things I keep in mind. Um, and also these work as tips for you if you also want to do some productive side project work. Number one, do small tasks one at a time. This is so important. If you've got a big task to do, break it down to small chunks and do them one at a time. Don't stress about the big project ever. Just think about the small thing that you have to do next and just go step by step. And eventually you'll have it all done and you won't even realize. Small tasks are a lot easier to handle, plan, uh, organize mentally. So yeah, it's just the best way I've found to, to work. Number two, don't stress. The key part of my work is that I've never stressed myself about how much work I have to do or put pressure on myself to do things. If I want to take a week off my side projects, then I do, like, it doesn't matter. Obviously, if there's something big I want to work on and get out online, then I do need to put in the hours, but if I don't want to, then I don't have to. And, and just kind of keeping it chill, very little stress is very important. These are side projects after all. Uh, if they don't make money, they don't make money. If they do make money, they do make money. It's like a mind game and you have to keep your mind level-headed. You have to make it easier for yourself. Number three, go between projects frequently. Um, this doesn't mean multitasking, like going quickly between things and working on one thing for 20 minutes and then another thing for 10 minutes and going back again. This means that one day you'll focus on one task on one project, the next day you might work on something else. Um, that's how you push everything forward. Uh, gradually and consistently. This keeps things fresh for you and it keeps things fresh for your customers. Maybe your customers only know about one project and if you went off for three months working on one of your other side projects, the other customers may think that your project is dead or you're not interested in it. One thing I found out is that if you work a little bit at a time over every project, it's like the best way to work on them. Number four, I enjoy it. I see this as a hobby. It's something I would do if no one paid me to do it, like football or tennis or drawing or anything like that. It just turns out that I can make money from it. It helps support my family from my hobby. When I don't work on something for a few days or a week, then I'm desperate to get back to it. And that's how I know that it's something that I care about and something I enjoy regardless of the outcome, regardless of how successful something's gonna be. Number five, and this is a big one, is focus. For me, focus is three different things at the same time. So the first part is focus on the big picture. So this is where you want to be in the future, uh, different goals you have for yourself. Um, you need to focus on those. You have to think about those constantly. They won't happen unless you work towards them. So this could be uh, like my current Twitter uh, profile goal of 10,000 MRR, or it could be a better life for your family, more income, or a way to step away from your job, anything like that. Those are the big goals that you're working towards um, and you have to keep them in mind. The second part of focus for me is focus on those single tasks that I've talked about. When you get to work, 
you work on that stuff and you get it done. Even though they're small and you can knock it out in 10 minutes, that is progress and that is what you need to aim for. You need to focus on pushing your projects forward, writing more, coding more, designing more, just getting towards those goals, those big picture goals. Uh, the third part of focus for me is focus on what I'm doing and not focusing on what others are doing. So on Twitter, it's easy to get sucked into Twitter and get distracted by what other people are launching or the success they're having. It's very important that you focus on your goals, what you're building, your product, your output. Number six is that I've built hands-off projects. So software as a service, SaaS, is a great business model because you can build one thing and then sell it to thousands of people at the same time, it, like a digital product, same thing. This kind of ties into the stress part that I mentioned earlier. Um, I don't have to stress that I have to keep working on something to get the money for it. Like it's not hourly, I'm not getting paid for the hours that I work. Um, as soon as I've got a decent project that people want to pay for, then technically that can scale infinitely. So that is another important part of my side project building is that build things that you don't have to work on constantly. You can take a month off and still earn the same amount of money as if you worked 80 hours a week. Sometimes I leave a project for a month or two because I've got it to a stage where it doesn't need any more features. All it needs is customer support once or twice a week uh, or then like server maintenance or something. And it's a luxury to, to be able to do that and still keep earning from that project. And number seven is to protect your time and say no to things. If you're building in public, sharing what you're building on Twitter, you may get interest from other people asking you to work on things, build things for them. It's crucial to be able to say no to things that don't align or don't fit with your upcoming schedule. Since January this year, I've said no to nearly every single project that's come my way. And uh, this is also tied into the focus part. You don't want to be jumping around doing all these client projects where um, a lot of the time you're talking with the client or doing reviews or tweaks or not really understanding the project fully in your head. Whereas with my own projects, like I said, I, I think about them all the time. Um, I then do highly focused work and I can be a lot more effective. This also goes with podcasts and interviews. Uh, I've had to put everything back. I've said no to everything. That's lots of hours that I have saved and uh, have been able to work on my own things or take a break and relax when needed. There you go. That's my seven important key things that I do when handling and working with side projects. Um, hopefully some of those will be helpful for you. If you're building a side project or have any questions, please leave a comment below. I'd love to hear more about what you're building or yeah, any of this kind of creates any questions for you yet just let me know below thanks for watching appreciate you being here watching all the way through if you want to see uh, yeah my progress on my side projects i am constantly putting updates on twitter my username is at dr come say hi my dms are open if you ever want to ask questions and i will see you in the next video hopefully in a few days time cheers everyone bye